Hi, I'm Oli. Uh, I'm a local artist from Leeds. Uh, I'm a massive die-hard Leeds fan all my life. Grew up uh, within Leeds uh, and I made this Rubik's Cube art piece of the greatest manager in my lifetime, Marcelo Bielsa. Uh, I used a total of 1,300 Rubik's Cubes stacked up all on top of each other to create Marcelo's face. Uh, this is the first ever picture uh, I've ever made and I sold it at the Norman Hunter charity event uh, in Horsforth. This went to auction uh, and the company Resource won it at auction and it's now living in Ellen Road, the best place uh, is when Marcelo Bielsa deserves to stay, deserves to live. Uh, something I'm very proud of and something that means a lot to me. Uh, I continue creating art around the world, uh, selling it globally, doing events. Uh, Rubik's Cube Art is something uh, I love doing and this is the first of uh, many future pieces. With this being my first ever Rubik's Cube picture I made, uh, the reason I got into Rubik's Cube uh, art, as it is so unique and so different, uh, was my uncle used to do it uh, for many, many years and was very successful. And when he passed away in 2020, I decided, decided to carry on what he started uh, and really continue his journey. With me being a massive Leeds fan and my uncle being a massive Leeds fan, it only felt right to do something like Marcelo Bielsa as my first piece. Uh, what Marcelo did for Leeds United, uh, getting us promoted uh, back to where we belong. Uh, it just felt right at the time to do that picture and fortunately he now lives inside Ella Road, uh, which is something I'm very proud of. The, the difficulty is with a Rubik Cube, you've only got six colours to choose from and it's very pixelated, so it is very challenging to turn a face into lots of pixels and selecting those pixels from a limited colour palette. So the difficulty is, and the process is, finding a picture, uh, cutting it down into the number of pixels, so pixelating the picture, and then going each individual pixel and converting it and matching it to the best corresponding colour of a Rubik Cube. Uh, the design process is a long bit, that's the, the time on the computer, the time it takes lots of hours. Uh, the building takes about 10 to 15 hours uh, solving and twisting the, each Rubik Cube individually. So I got into solving Rubik Cubes, uh, being inspired by my uncle, uh, watching YouTube tutorials and he really helped me uh, from there. I can solve it in sort of less than a minute now, uh, but it really does blow people's mind being able to solve one Rubik's Cube. Uh, solving 1,300 to make Marcelo Bielsa's face has really got a cool reaction uh, and from there that's what snowballed into me becoming a full-time Rubik Cube artist, selling art uh, from Rubik Cubes all around the world. Uh, which is something I'm very proud of. Since uh, the first ever one that I did and selling the Marcelo Bielsa piece, uh, I've done lots of different collections. I've done the Icons Diva collection where I've done people like Elton John and David Bowie. Then I've also done sort of the pop art uh, style pictures uh, that's influenced by my favourite pop art artists, uh, as well as lots of different sporting icons, uh, animals, anything you can aim of. I've sold it uh, globally and worldwide to uh, many clients. Currently I'm doing another collection piece, uh, so I'm doing uh, all my pop art collections uh, inspired by lots of famous pictures and converting them into a Rubik's Cube picture. Uh, so that's what I'm working on at the moment in the next few weeks, uh, so stay tuned for that. So the best place to see my work is through, uh, I primarily sell them at the moment through my Etsy shop which is Rubik's Cube Art and I also have a Instagram which you can keep up to date with which is Rubik's Cubism C-I-X.